you have an inner critic that is at you all day, you shouldn't do this, you're no good at that, you're not worth it. Do you have that inner critic voice that just goes at you nonstop? And how many years have you been putting up with this? Because we all have, I believe, inner critics. And it's how we handle them, how we manage them, how we actually approach dealing with the inner critic in our life as to how much we can flourish. Have you ever thought of entertaining the idea of creating your own inner greatness? How cool would that be? Well, I'm here to tell you that it's very possible. The first thing you need to do, though, is get or become aware of the inner critical voice that you have. You know, that little nagging voice in the back of your head. You've probably had it there for years. That's been my experience. I had one of those and it was nothing to do with me. It was actually my father used to nag at me in a negative way. And one day I realized, oh my gosh, I can change all this. And why can't you consider changing this? You know, the negative critic voice is usually a voice that belongs to another. It's not yours, it doesn't belong to you. It's something that you've heard over and over and over again that you've then adopted as your own. So you've got this critical voice going hammer and tongs at you, telling you you're no good, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I mean. If you've got an inner critical voice or inner critic in your head, you know exactly what I'm talking about. What if you started practicing inner greatness? Words like I'm worthy. I can do this. I can do anything I like. Oh, but I don't really believe that. But you know, what are you left with if you don't give this a go? Because that inner critic voice is just like this massive recording going da -da 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 in your head. It starts to limit your abilities. You start to second guess yourself. You don't take on things, new tasks, new adventures because you just don't have the confidence, because you have that voice in your head nagging, 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 I don't know where that came from, nagging at you. So why would you not entertain your own inner greatness? How cool would that be? So here's some things you can do. You can write down all the good things about you, all the great attributes. Now, honestly, if you don't know them, I understand, I get it, a bit too close. Ask two good friends, what are your awesome attributes? And if they're good friends, they'll tell you because I believe everyone has good attributes. So make a list and start reading it aloud. Start, start to retrain and to recreate a video, if you like, an audio, everything that is great about you. So are you open to changing that inner critical voice to the inner greatness voice? Let's see. Let's go back then. The inner critic doesn't belong to you usually. It usually belongs to another. It's someone that's said negative things to you for a very long time, which you have then taken, uploaded, if you like, for yourself, made it sound like it's yours. And it stopped you. Don't be stopped anymore. This is the time to liberate yourself and create your own inner greatness. So ask a friend, one friend, two friends, whatever you feel courageous enough to do. Make a list and start reading them out. And you need to say, I am awesome. I am, I am, whatever the words are. I'm not going to give you words because they need to be yours. They need to be authentically belonging to you. Now, it does work. It does take time. There's no quick fixes with this. And you need to get clarity on what do you want to hear in your head? Become clear. Make good decisions and then start practicing it. Reading aloud really does work. You can write it, of course. There's some kind of magic. I haven't done the research into it, to be honest, but about writing, it's something about your unconscious picking up 
the words. Now, remember, your unconscious doesn't have, well, it, it's not that discerning. It picks up negative and positive. So you need to be thinking in the positive. If you found this helpful, do write some comments. If you're struggling with this whole critical voice inside your head and you can't seem to move it, I would love it if you would book a call with me. First session's on me. I love to talk to people about their inner critics because I, I've had one for a long time. Not anymore. The volume's either turned off or right down. Don't hear it very much at all. So my invitation for you today is to step into your inner greatness because it's there. You've just got to tap into it. This is Mary Scott. Thanks for watching.